Hello again everybody, Jeremy Latham here, I'm the hip surgeon. It's well into November 2018, it's raining outside, it's pretty slippery underfoot and of course the frosts are starting to come already. This is a time of year when lots of people like to have their hips replaced. It means they can hole up at home, they don't have to go outside very much, the garden doesn't need very much doing to it and by the time they're fully recovered after Christmas they can start doing all those normal activities again. This is a time of year when lots of people worry about slipping and falling, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about how to avoid slips, trips and falls generally. It's particularly important when you have a hip replacement to avoid falling because of course you could risk dislocating the hip or even breaking the femur or socket of the hip joint. These of course are very bad things and should be avoided at all costs. There's lots of very good information out there about how to avoid slips, trips and falls, so I thought I'd condense those into a short video. If you've got any questions or comments, please do get in touch. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. We're all well aware that the world's population is aging quite rapidly. One of the problems with aging is that we've become frail and increase the risk of having a fall. Falls are the leading cause of death and injury in older people. In the United States, it's estimated that a person will fall every 19 minutes or so. 95% of hip fractures are the result of having a fall. Of course, having a fall doesn't just cause physical injuries. There's an enormous psychological impact after having a fall. Your confidence is eroded and you become very reluctant to go out of doors and engage in society. This obviously has quite profound effects for some people. Hip arthritis can certainly increase the risk of having a fall. If you've got a stiff, painful hip, it can feel like it's going to give way sometimes. The drugs that you take can impair balance and coordination, which increase the risk of having a fall. You might well be tired because you're not sleeping very well. In the first few weeks after your hip replacement surgery, there is an increased risk of having a fall. But the physiotherapist will teach you all the things you need to do in order to reduce this risk. After about six weeks or so, the risk of having a fall decreases dramatically because you'll be independently mobile and not taking painkillers anymore. Here's a radiograph of someone who sustained a fracture of the femur around a hip replacement. In this situation, we often have to remove the components of the hip replacement and put in a new one, as well as fixing the fracture. It's a big undertaking, particularly when you're elderly and might have other medical problems which can complicate the situation. There's lots of really good advice online about how to reduce the risk of having a fall. If you're on long-term medication, have it reviewed regularly, particularly if you've got conditions like high blood pressure and diabetes. Keep moving as much as you can, Exercise certainly improves balance and coordination. Have your eyes and feet checked and make your home safer. We'll talk about that in a moment. This is a really good video from Age UK about reducing the risk of having a fall at home. Have a look around you, make sure there are no trip hazards such as loose rugs or electrical flex. Good lighting is important, particularly on the stairs and in the bedroom to reduce the risk of having a fall. If you wear slippers, make sure they're comfortable and that the soles grip well. Regular, gentle exercise improves balance and coordination, which are of course very important. We're now well into November, and this is a particularly tricky time of the year. The roads are often slippery and wet underfoot. There are fallen leaves and it's starting to get frosty. It's really important to look at your footwear and wear grippy soles if possible. Avoid leather soles. These are often quite hazardous on slippery surfaces. Don't be afraid to use a walking stick or walking poles when walking outside. These will improve your confidence and stability and hopefully reduce the risk of you having a fall whilst you're recovering from hip replacement surgery. It's nearly Christmas and the markets are all starting to open. These choristers from Winchester Cathedral are clearly very happy on the ice rink. If you're at an increased risk of having a fall, it's probably best not to follow their example. I hope you all have a very safe and happy Christmas. If you're thinking about having your hip replaced, this would be a good moment to have a look around your house in the immediate environment to see where the trip hazards are. Work out how to get into your living room easily and avoid hazards in the kitchen. It's likely that you'll be using a crutch or a walking stick when you're discharged from hospital and of course these can cause their own hazards, particularly if you've got loose rugs or cables lying on the floor. If you've got any questions or comments, please do get in touch either through the website or via my secretary Anne. Her details will follow at the end of this. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jeremy Latham. I'm the hip surgeon.